The difference between the futures price and the spot price of a currency pair is referred to as the basis. Basis can be either positive or negative. It will depend on the relationship between the short-term interest rates of the base and the term's currency being considered. The base currency is the first currency in a currency pair quotation, and the quote of term's currency is the second half of the quotation. The price of an FX futures product is based on the currency pair's spot rate and a short-term interest differential. The pricing formula is similar to how FX forwards are priced in the OTC market. What does the pricing formula look like? In FX futures price formula, R represents the short-term interest rate of a currency, and D is the number of days from trade settlement until expiration. If the short-term interest rate of the quote currency is lower than the short-term interest rate of the base currency, futures should trade at a discount to the spot rate. The basis, futures minus spot, would be quoted as a negative number. This negative number is the result of what is known as positive carry. It is referred to as positive because an investment in the base currency's short-term interest rate generates more income than the income generated by the quote currency's short-term interest rate. Let's look at an example. Consider Mexican peso U.S. dollar futures, quoted in American terms as MXN USD. The Mexican peso is the base currency. Assume it has a short-term interest rate of 4.25% with a term settlement to expiration of 82 days. Assume the U.S. dollar has an equivalent dated short-term interest rate of 0.70%. Notice that the U.S. dollar rate is lower than the Mexican peso rate. This implies positive carry, so the futures price should be lower than the spot. If the spot price for Mexican peso versus U.S. dollar is 0.05158, what would be the implied futures price? Let's plug in our numbers to find the results. First, 82 days divided by 360 equals 0.2278. Now, multiply that number by each currency's short-term interest rate. Add 1 to each result and then divide the base number into the terms number. Before going on to the next step, notice the resulting multiplier is less than 1. This implies positive carry because it will reduce the futures price relative to the spot rate. If the terms rate was higher than the base rate, the resulting multiplier would have been greater than 1. That would have meant negative carry, and futures would price at a premium to spot. Now multiply the spot rate times the multiplier. The result is 0.05116. The basis equals futures minus spot, or 0.05115 minus 0.05158, which is a negative 0.00043, or otherwise considered a negative 43 points. Let's take this further. We will change the time value to expiration from 82 days to 30 days. How does this affect the multiplier? Using the same calculations, the new multiplier is 0.99705, which is higher than our multiplier at 82 days. This means the futures price, while still lower, will be closer to spot. This is because of the erosion of the time value of money, or time decay. As a futures contract approaches expiration, the time value of money runs out and futures price converges toward spot. The 30-day implied futures price comes to 0.05143 versus a spot of 0.05158. When we subtract the futures price from the spot, we get a negative 15 points. The basis has narrowed from negative 43 to negative 15. At expiration, futures and spot will converge to the same level. Let's recap. For FX futures, basis is the difference between the futures price and spot price of a currency pairing. There is a cost of carry consideration for FX futures products. This is a determining factor in whether the futures price trades at a discount or a premium to spot. Regardless if futures are trading at a premium or discount to spot, the prices will converge at expiration. This demonstrates the pricing integrity of the futures contract and provides market participants the confidence to use them in trading and risk management strategies.